then um, Douglas was introduced, and Chris was introduced to Roots and to Michael and I and Denise and Diane. And um, the idea, you know, in, in evolution has been to let's work together to create something very, very special. You know, First formal meeting that he had with all the uh, designers um, was really quite interesting because he started talking and he was pulling out you know, eight, eight and a half by 11 sheets that he photocopied and it started off with a test sheet. And we're all familiar with the test sheet. And then he starts layering and matrix and satellites and Sputniks and postage stamps. And, and you're going and, and it's like rapid fire and every different, everything that he had, he had it in about every color of the test sheet. So next thing you know, this big wall is full of these uh, different ideas. And then he takes it all down and he goes to the next. And at the beginning it was overwhelming and then then you really looked at the simplicity and the beauty of, of what he was uh, really doing. A lot of the design and artwork I've been doing for the last decade about Canada has sort of focused more on the past and the near past and maybe sort of more rustic elements like wood and, and birch and that sort of textural stuff. And then as big change happened in the way I see the country about a year ago, I began doing this biography of Marshall McLuhan, who is this very incredibly brilliant guy who defined the media back in the 60s and 70s. And what was interesting to me is that there was this moment in Canadian history, the 50s, the early 60s, when we were the only country on earth that had electricity and communication systems, that we didn't have any politics. There was no communism, there was no imperialism, there was nothing else driving it. So instead of birch bark and moose and mounties and all that stuff, I thought, you know what, let's, let's take that vision of the future like forward. What really links Canadians together is that we're all far apart. This project reminds me exactly of Bob Dylan, the first time he played with the band, when he went electric instead of acoustic. That's sort of my comparison. We're sort of acoustic, and he's taking us to much more electric and a more modern uh, approach to, to what we were doing. Canada may be one of the few countries on Earth where people still get stoked about 10 years from now. You know, living in British Columbia, in a part of it that was still essentially virgin and up until now, uh, there has only ever been the option of going forward. There's never been a backwards to go back to. So to me, there only really is the future. In terms of collective memory and collective nostalgia, I mean, I think we've just gone about as far as we can, again, with beavers and mounties and birch bark and moose. And Roots does rustic, Roots does the country beautifully. They do the outdoorsy version of being Canadian and I'm doing the indoorsy way of being Canadian. Uh, uh, but they were first and they did a great job, they really did. The indoorsy way. That's my new word. <laughs>